in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create seven steps using the number seven so let me just show you when i click it will show you the first one the title and then the option number one and the detail text when i click it will show the second one with a different color combination third fourth fifth sixth and seven so this with the help of the number seven i have converted into small uh, blocks okay please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background then go to insert text box i'm going to type number seven here and the font which i'm going to use is arial black and i'm going to change the font size to close to 600 so maybe 595 you can see here this much big and i'm going to place it in the center then i'm going to cut this into seven equal parts for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle here all right one here hold the control shift key one here you can see here a smaller one it should not go more than that let me just see it should not touch below so i'm just going to make it like this here so this is one two three now control d i'm going to rotate by hold the alt and the right arrow key okay and then i'm going to put it one here let me just make it somewhat bigger and again make sure that this should not touch the top all right something like this so this is one two three control d four five six and seven i think let's see one two three four five six seven so let me just bring this somewhat down otherwise equal spacing has to be there all right yeah you can see here i have added one two three four five six rectangles on top of this number seven the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select all these objects press ctrl a like this and go to the shape format merge shape i'm going to click on the fragment all right the moment i click it looks something like this so i'm going to select this one and delete this one here i'm going to delete like this so you can see here now we have got seven equal shapes or seven shapes i've cut it from the number seven all right so once this is done let me just select all these shapes go to the shape format shape outline make it no outline then depending on the requirement you can just fill any color of your choice you can see here so randomly i'm just uh, choosing some colors which i've used previously you can see here i'm just randomly selecting the colors one by one yeah so you can see here i have added seven different colors now the next thing which i'm going to add is one either you can take one line or a rectangle whatever for example let me just select one line here hold the shift key i need a straight line and the weight i'm going to increase to maybe three points shape outline maybe gray color i'm going to choose make it in the center hold the control shift key drag it and align it in the center press ctrl d alt and the right arrow key okay make it horizontal and i'm going to add one here maybe i need to increase the size press ctrl d and the second line will come here the third will come here the fourth and the fifth press ctrl d and the fifth one here all right the next is i'm going to insert some icons so go to the insert icons and just choose some icons uh, depending on the requirements so here i'm just going to choose some random icons all right so four five six 
and uh, could be a 7 and click on insert move this aside and the height and width I'm going to make it as 0.6 and you can give the color as white but if I give the color white it will not be visible so after replace we can put the color as white you can see here I'm just going to add one by one on each rectangle like this and then I'm going to select this one and I'm going to give this as white color here again if you want you can just put the option number one two three four five or you can just put it outside also so let me just put it outside I'm just going to say step zero one center align make it a black or blue I'm going to use the open sans extra bold font all right here step one maybe I can just reduce the size and then I can add some detailed text here add detailed text here center align reduce the font size maybe to 10 or 12 and put it on top of this one if you want you can just bring this down and you can put the step number here also whichever way you feel comfortable you can do it press ctrl d to duplicate this will be my second step this is going to be my third step ctrl d the fourth step i just need to change this one the direction it will come first like this and then the detailed text all right so now i'm just going to select both of these press ctrl d to duplicate ctrl d again ctrl d again all right so let me just change now to step two step three four five six and seven all right again if you want you can just change the uh, the color according to the color of the <coughs> sorry color of the box okay once this is done i'm going to group this all right so if you want you can just group this and this or you can group separately also so let me just group this first okay this one and this one control g this and this control g one by one you need to group it and this also then i'm going to group this one also separately one by one select both of these and press ctrl g select this one hold the shift key press ctrl g like that you need to select all right so i've selected all the groups now then let's do the animation go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to choose the first one add animation more entrance effects i'm going to select stretch click ok stretch i'm going to check from top something like this and the same animation using the animation painter i'm going to copy this one and this effect option it should come from the bottom and this should happen with previous so if i play it comes like this okay so now i'm going to use the animation painter again select this one this one all right you can see here you can change change the direction also if you want this one comes from the left it can come from the left also okay then i'm going to choose this one this should come from the top now and this one it should come from left all right so let me just copy the animation quickly now it's a time consuming process but once done it looks very good so let me just copy the full animation and then the last one the lines i'm going to choose or select you can see here these lines hold the shift key and select all the lines and then appear this should appear after previous okay so let me just play now step one step two step three four five six and seven then the line comes here all right so this is a simple animation you can use with the numbers